Okay, what's up guys, I quote here. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Sharpened Battles. I am playing Ceramic Crucible against Yusef Osman. <laughs> my music is really I'm going straight for a tier 2 farm. On this map, since you can't fit many farms, I'm probably just going to be going for like 2 tier 3 farms. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get a triple dart monkey. Okay, so I got three dart monkeys. My defense should be pretty good. I'm trying to second tier too far. So I'm gonna have to go get my camo protection, my um, lead protection now. Now I got my lead protection now. I'm definitely not gonna be getting in two, three farms this game. I'm gonna just send a couple of people. I actually probably should not have done that because now my rush is gonna be way delayed. I should not have sent as many as I did. I actually forced the boost on him somehow, so I guess that's a good thing. I'm gonna send a couple of balloons, so I can send a lot of them right now. I already won, okay, I didn't get to actually do my big rush, it's just a tiny rush that worked. Oh, I should have just rushed him again. Okay, so... <clears throat> this guy has 4 billion medallions! Okay. I don't think- I don't know how it's possible to even get a billion medallions, so I highly doubt anybody who has over even a hundred million are legit, unless like competitive players. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess this guy hacked in his medallions, especially how he has a 49% win loss ratio.
Because so I'm going to do the farm route again, which obviously is what I'm going to do. Okay, so I should move to Ben as long as he doesn't start sending balloons at me. Should be fine. Yeah, so I'm going okay. <clears throat> Okay, this one more time. And I'm going to get triple darts now. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of his road spikes if I can. Set this guy in strong. I remember the fade in your eyes. I'm lost in space, floating away. <clears throat> oh my god, this rush is gonna be so huge against this guy. <laughs> This guy's gonna have quite a hard time trying to defend this rush. Oh no, he got rid of his world window. Okay. I'm gonna just set some whites at this guy. Get rid of this stupid room space. He actually used a boost to do that. I should be fine defending against this though. If I'm just keeping the dark against actually on first, that should be very good defense. That's how much you're gonna wait until probably do that. I don't think regens are actually worth it. Because he is that really matter. Okay, so it is passing on thirteen. I probably could rush him, but I want to see what he does with that. Um, I might start it out with the um, zebra, then I might trans trans like, translate it kind of into a regular zebra. I don't know why I think ceramics. They're not melt ceramics. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just place it on this, and then I'm gonna probably rush him right now. So that's what I was gonna do. Hopefully, is um, has a lightning effect, transfer onto the Rigor Zebras to have them regenerate before he gets there. And it looks like I'm gonna beat him. He got that, which is definitely not a good choice. Yeah, I won. 
He's no chance of just that whirlwind. He's no chance of so anybody defending that. Actually, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to look down below. If you want to see some more Boom Tower Friends battles, subscribe. Make the foe out.